Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show a technical video of how the inside of a linear actuator works. For you this will be useful so you have a better understanding of how the internals work as well as if you ever need to replace some parts it'll, you'll, have, uh, you'll be more comfortable going inside and replacing the parts. So I've already taken this actuator apart so it, it looks like it's a little opened up. It's because I've already removed all the screws. I'm wearing some gloves because uh, it is a little bit greasy inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the bottom cap. When I remove the bottom cap here, you can see this is the motor here. It's connected to a gear, which turns two more gears, which finally turns the last gear, which extends and retracts the actuator. Inside here, there's a screw that turns, which pushes the actuator out and reverses to push it back in. We're gonna show you that in a moment. Uh, I'm gonna re release the motor here. So this is just showing you a little bit of what the motor is inside. It's connected. This is the gear that we showed up here. Over here is the DC brushes. Now usually these are spring loaded. I've removed the springs. Basically how this works is it applies power to the motor uh, from your battery, which turns the motor forward and back. These, this is a very important part. If you go over the current, if the current, if the actuator goes over its uh, rated force, a lot of times these can melt. Now we're gonna disconnect the shaft of the unit. Here you can see this is the rod that extends and retracts out of the actuator. On the side here, you'll see the two limit switches. Not all of our actuators have limit switches here. Uh, some of them do though. Uh, how this works is as the actuator extends and retracts, this white arm here ends up touching the limit switch. When it touches, this is the upper limit switch. When it fully extends, it hits this, cuts the power. When it fully retracts, it hits this limit switch here, which cuts the power as well. I'm gonna show you a quick example of how it works. So as I was mentioning earlier, the motor turns some gears, which eventually turns this last gear here. When this gear turns, the actuator extends. Here you can see the lead screw. So uh, this is a threaded screw. As it turns, it pushes the actuator rod out. You can see me just turning the gear right here. So basically it comes to the end, it hits the limit switch, cuts the power, you can't extend the actuator anymore until you reverse the polarity, which will bring it back. And eventually it goes all the way back and hits the limit switch there. So many times you'll notice some of our actuators have uh, different forces, but have the same dimension. Usually what that means is this lead screw here we will change the pitch and the, the width between the, the uh, threads, which will either have it move faster or slower and control the force that way as well. If you have any additional questions about some of our actuators, feel free to visit our website at www.progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 800-676-6123.